Hello dear students. <clears throat> this is your video of explanation for chapter number 15 talking about continuous time in future. Now till now when we studied about continuous time for past tense, we know the rule. It is subject plus was plus verb plus ing and the next part of the sentence. Then about continuous time for present tense, subject is, am, or are, plus verb, plus ing, and the next part of the sentence. So don't you think it will be very easy to study about the continuous time in future? We use continuous time in future when we talk, want to talk about something that will be going on in the future, or about that particular time. So let's have a look at this chapter. GT. Hey Grandma, when will we reach Washington DC? Will we be in time for the National Cherry Blossom Festival tomorrow? Grandma, don't worry GT, we will be reaching there in a few hours. GT, that's good, we will be flying kites by 10 a.m. Grandma, you do that? I think I will be snoozing under the pretty trees. So here, if you can see, like all the things are about future. But when GT asks, when will we reach? That is simple future. But when we want to talk about continuous thing, like which will be going on, like we will be reaching, we will be flying, I will be snoozing. These things are showing continuous future time. We will be flying kites at 10 a.m. I will be snoozing by pretty trees. The underlined verbs are in continuous form. Flying, snoozing. Snoozing means she is sleeping them. Also notice will. We learned earlier that will is often used to indicate future time. This is from the last chapter only. So you know we use will or shall or going to for future. So will is for future time. But when the verbs in the sentence that end with ing. It is showing continuous time, or a continuous action in future time. They tell us about an action happening at a particular moment in the future. The action will start before that moment, but it will not have finished at the moment. Did you understand this line? Like we will start that action before we are talking about the time. If I am talking about something that will happen tonight at 9, so the movie will start at uh, 8.30. But I will be watching it at 9, so it is going on. It started earlier, it has not ended yet. So that will be in continuous form. We will be flying kites tomorrow at 10 a.m. Past, present, future. It is going on. Meaning tomorrow we will start flying kites at around 10 a.m. Now underline all the verbs showing future continuous time. Here, I asked you guys to do this in class and it was very easy. Future continuous time. So, you have to underline the words which have will be plus verb plus ing. Simple. We will be moving to a new city next year. So, will be moving. GT and I will be studying in a new school. So, will be studying. And grandma will be working with new people. So, will be working. I am a little worried about this because I have never lived outside my own city before. There is nothing in future. This is about right now. And past tense. My friends will not be coming along. So this here is also for future tense but it is a negative sentence. Hence, will not be coming. My teachers will not be teaching me in the new city. How will I manage? This is for future, but this is not continuous. Fortunately, my best friend Mac will be living with me. Again, future continuous tense will be living. I guess that's great. Friends make everything seem better. Now, this is the structure, the format of how to use future continuous tense. 
subject plus will plus be plus main verb or base verb plus ing you all know what is base verb the simple verb without showing past without ed without s base verb plus ing now let's have a look at this table this table i have asked you guys to write in your notebook for negative statements we use not between will and be for questions we move will before the subject not before the subject but before sorry for questions we move will before the subject yes that's what we always do like will will come first part of the sentence and then subject and then helping verb and then main verb so let's have a look at the table i will be working at 10 am you will be playing on beach tomorrow instead of i you we can use he she it they we all of us uh, all of these will remain same the next part of the sentence will remain same helping verb plus main verb plus ing sorry helping verb will be plus verb plus ing same now for negative sentences students in all these sentences be always comes before verb plus ing let's have a look at the negative sentences she will not be leaving in delhi anymore not will come between will and be in all the sentences if we want to make it negative and for question marks it will be will you be playing football so will will be the first part of the sentence and then the subject then the helping verb be then verb plus ing you can change any of the verb you can change any of the subject and the next part of the sentence and you can write this table for practice now let's have a look at the jumble exercise b put the jumble sentences in the right order we will make it the correct sentence with the format in mind i will be watching tv at 4 pm tomorrow i will not be eating my dinner then sunday will they be swimming on morning question mark will she be walking in her garden in the morning question mark now when we talk about continuous time we contract will contract means instead of writing completely w i w l, -L we just first keep the sentence i mean subject and then apostrophe and then double l i will becomes i'll you will you he she it will he'll she'll it will we will they will same way for all and for negative sentences will not becomes won't now fill in the blanks pick the verbs from the box remember the structure we have to make this for future continuous it is 5 o'clock harman will be playing hockey let's ring him later walk fast mother will be waiting for us eagerly i just watched the weather report take an umbrella it will be raining when you return what will you be doing next year when will you be moving into your new house now when we write moving when there is e in the end of the verb we remove e and add ing so m o v i n g same way for let's take example of dance d a n c e that is the spelling of dance but when we want to make it dancing d a n c i n g now think carefully and answer this activity you have to write by yourself you have to think about your future and make the sentences in future continuous what will you be doing when you are 25 years old so you can write i will be teaching students when i am 25 years old and 
What will you be doing tonight at 10? Tonight I will be sleeping in my bed or anything. This has to be your future and make it what you will be doing. What you will be is not there, but what you will be doing. So it will be for continuous tense. Write six sentences based on that. And activity E, we have skipped this time. So that's all for future continuous tense. Now, if you were active, I mean, if you were present during past continuous tense, if you're present during present continuous tense, future continuous tense, it will be like you don't even need extra practice for it. You already know what is the format. So that's it for today. Read the try to solve the exercises in your notebook. If it is remaining, we'll solve it again on Monday. Bye.